Welcome to the General Board of Higher Education and Ministry, Office of Loans and Scholarships for the United Methodist Church. My name is Allison Collinsworth and I'm the Director, and I wanted to take the time today to tell you a little bit about why we exist and what we do. The United Methodist Student Loan Program was created over 140 years ago from the Children's Day Offering from General Conference. This loan program was created as a hand up, not a handout, to instill accountability in the students as they paid back their loans and worked in collaboration with the church. Nine years later, the scholarship programs were created. Fast forward to today, the Office of Loans and Scholarships administers over 60 scholarship programs and 20 loan programs. On average, we award over $5 million a year to over 300, 3,000 students in the United Methodist Church as they continue their leadership and connection with the church. Funding for these awards comes from endowments that have been left over the years, gifts, wills, annuities, and special Sundays with offerings. There are three special Sundays with offerings that come directly to the Office of Loans and Scholarships and are used for scholarship awards. They are Student Day, World Communion Sunday, and the Native American Ministry Sunday. It is vital that we continue to observe these Sundays and raise money so that more scholarships can be given as tuition increases. When you give specifically to endowments, you can choose from the criteria that means the most to you. You can give to student leaders who are undergraduates in our Gift of Hope program. You can give to PhDs in our Women of Color Scholars program or our newest program, the Special Seminary Scholarship for Young Seminarians Pursuing Ordained Clergy. The Office of Loans and Scholarships staff is very loyal and dedicated. They view their work as an investment in ministry in the scholars and borrowers that they work with daily. Their work is integral to keeping the details, procedures, and administration straight. Your support with our staff is vital to continue our legacy, to continue to support future leaders of the United Methodist Church. You're about to view and hear from constituents and recipients of our programs who through the Office of Loans and Scholarships have been able to pursue their vocational calling while remaining connected to the United Methodist Church. Uh, first and foremost, the United Methodist Church is my home church. Uh, I grew up in a small Methodist church in, in rural Arkansas. I guess the, the, the primary thing I think of when I think of the Methodist Church is the connection. Uh, in undergrad, I attended a United Methodist Wesley Foundation the campus ministry. Uh, I was involved in worship with a local congregation in town. Uh, so when I think about the big picture, I think about USC as a grand connection and a diverse connection. Uh, I've met many different types of people, and especially here at seminary, from not just the United States, but from a gospel tradition. Um, so I think that's what the UMC means most to me. But within that connection, it also represents a very um, sort of specific uh, theological preference, I think, and, and across, across those different facets, no matter where I've been, the UMC seems to stand for this view of God that, that God is gracious and loving above all else. I think that is at the core of our of our connection, whether that be through administrative groups, through penal you know, boards, or through local congregations, or through outreach. Um, so I think I hold those two uh, together, uh, thinking about the strength of the connection, the diversity of connection, but always representing the grace and love of God in all those things. How has the Special Seminary Scholarship helped you in pursuing your education goals? But to me, the, the scholarship money really is more than, than money. Um, I think of the money as an endorsement, uh, that there are people uh, in Nashville or across the connection who, who appreciate what I'm doing and appreciate that I'm you know, making a commitment to go to seminary and to, and to work within the connection, um, and that that money represents their support of me. What has your experience been with the Office of Loans and Scholarships? Office of Loans and Scholarships has always been there for me when I have a question, when I have a concern, if something is not working, if I haven't gotten some concern, um, they are always there to help me. Vance P. Ross, I pastor the Board Memorial Church here in Nashville, Tennessee. Prior to that, I was the Deputy General Secretary of the General Board of Discipleship. So what does the United Methodist Church mean to you? United Methodist Church is my church. It's the church of my birth. I love who it is and what it does theoretically and try to live that out practically as the pastor of that congregation. 
Before it assisted the children, it assisted me. I received scholarships and loans in the 1970s to go to undergraduate school at West Virginia Wesleyan College. I found it a great blessing to me, and so I knew it would be an opportunity for my children. I am so blessed by it, and I believe other people can be blessed by it. I have been helped by persons who sat down and spoke with me as not just a member of the church, but as a client. I've been awfully, awfully impressed by the way that they do that, but somewhat chagrined, I must say, at the little bit of money that they're able to use. That is to say that the denomination, I believe, could do a whole lot more if we paid attention to the blessing that this money is to young people and has been to some of us. I am one of those. What has your experience been with the Office of Loans and Scholarships? Well, as I mentioned, um, I've had the privilege to serve uh, eight years uh, on the uh, General Board of Higher Education and Ministry. And uh, uh, I think I served all eight years uh, on the Office of Loans and Scholarships. I know that the last four, uh, I served as Vice Chair of, of the committee. And uh, it, it is a, a good experience because what we have is a strong staff team. Uh, we've always been impressed with the staff in the Office of Loans and Scholarships. Uh, they are a strong team. They are professional in the way they carry out their duties, and yet they are a caring uh, group of folk who uh, care about the students and parents who call in because they see the work of loans and scholarships uh, as a ministry. So it has been my privilege to serve with a, a, an exciting and a strong team uh, on, on the staff of, 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 the, of the Office of Loans and Scholarships. Hi, I'm Cindy Haley, Administrator for the Office of Loans and Scholarships. Without a doubt, in our country right now, we're facing a crisis, and that is the crisis of student loan debt. Our kids today are drowning in student loans and not able to seek out the paths that they want to fulfill in life because of the student loan. The United Methodist Church has no intention of sitting idly by and letting this happen. The Department of Loans and Scholarships is embracing that challenge by asking two questions. Number one, how can we reduce the amount of student loan that our students and their families are carrying? And number two, how can we still be good stewards of the United Methodist Church and the donations that were given for this purpose? To answer this question, the Office of Loans and Scholarships this fall launched a Borrow Smart program and has begun implementing it one option at a time. The first option I'd like to tell you about is our 3.75% smart loan. This is a different option than you're used to seeing, whereas most student loans are deferred and they're not repaid until a student is out of school, which usually ends up to be in somewhere around 14 years later. This option is an option where the student actually goes into repayment within 90 days. While this doesn't work for everybody, it is an option that works great for families who want to partner together to achieve a lower interest rate of 3.75% and in doing so, save thousands of dollars in the cost of an education. While something you might be able to compare that to would be the federal government's loan, they have a Parent Plus program that you're probably familiar with. That program is 7.9%. So in having this option, again, they can save thousands of dollars. At the Office of Loans and Scholarships, this is not the answer for everybody, but we're wanting to start with one option at a time, introduce different things over the course of a couple of years. And uh, one option that we have coming in the spring is our counseling to be able to counsel kids to be able to work with parents and let them know how many different options they have and what works best for them. Our goal is to help everyone borrow smart. Uh, again, I encourage you to look at this option. It's 3.75%. We also still do offer uh, the 5% 
and the 4% loan depending upon whether a student is attending a United Methodist school. This is deferred rate. Also, in addition, we have 60 plus scholarships. So let's all get together and partner and borrow smart. Thank you for your continued support of the Office of Loans and Scholarships so that we may continue to connect and invest in the church's future leaders. To find out how we continue our work together, please contact our office.